All right, guys, so hope everybody is doing well. For this portion of the video, we're going to start adding our detail to the exhaust since we've already got it formed up basically where it's going to, you know, need to be. Uh, so what only thing I've done off camera is I've went in here with my Dremel and our sanding wheel and uh, went in here and we just formed our hot melt glue that we had in here to kind of make our muffler end cap on this end and I left the hot melt glue kind of goobered up here like you would have a welded up when you paint it and you start adding the rest of the detail it's going to look like a welded up boogered up welded exhaust pipe going into your muffler same way on this end because uh, it's going to be under the truck so you're only going to see so much so uh, what we're doing here is we are I'm taking reason why I like using the coated brake line uh, mainly because I have so much of it laying around but uh, it adds a nice little uh, detail you can see where I started sanding on it here uh, it adds a nice little like a you know old rustied uh, look to the exhaust once you start putting you know taking the coating off so I just take a piece of sandpaper it don't matter this is 150 grit just whatever sandpaper you got laying around to start sanding the coating off of it really easy I'm not gonna do all this on camera but it comes off the coating comes off pretty easy and it starts giving you a nice looking you know crappy looking old rusty exhaust without adding a bunch of more detail to it and stuff like that so that's all you got to do it's a very sturdy exhaust system if you build it this way as well um i had some comments in that other video uh always end up ripping them off well, I don't necessarily drive my scale trucks like I snorted a line of cocaine and go out and, I mean, anybody that actually takes the time to watch my videos sees that I use my trucks. Um, I've never had any problem tearing these off. Uh, if you got them mounted good, I had the original exhaust on my TF3. Uh, and it was on there for years. Of abuse on that truck and I had used this truck this TF3 right here we're working on and I didn't have any trouble with it um, and you can see what I'm talking about just adds like a nice little patina to the exhaust I had another comment a guy was saying that he was gonna use someone was saying they were gonna use that soft easy bendable it's made out of like an aluminum I have some over here I've used it uh, I wouldn't recommend it if you go out and you trail even semi hard you will smash it you will bend it uh, This brake line holds up guys. It holds up very well, and you can see how it's adding the detail uh, To the pipe when you start putting it under here and it gets hidden it comes out to like a real nice looking patinaed and then I'm gonna coat this with some uh, Ack rust stuff too. We're gonna do later in the in 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 the video, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna continue sanding this uh, for right now off camera. Yeah, so this is what we got so far. What we're gonna do is here we're going to lay our muffler down, and I'm just gonna hit this with some Tester Silver uh, to get the muffler started painting it up making it look like an actual muffler and you can see we got some patina detail there in your pipe may it just looks like some rusty exhaust now uh, so what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna hit it with the testers the only testers one that I have <laughs> uh, actually you know what let's use a different one here that will give it more of a doll coating because that's more of a chrome look stop the camera here we'll do this even on the cheap down low down low this is from the Dollar Tree for a dollar 25 this is a metallic brush marker and we're just gonna use this to color in our muffler just like this right here so we had a camera fail I don't know what's going on with my phone guys uh, so you can see here what we're doing. We're using this cheap Dollar Tree 
brush marker and we're just going over it guys okay to make to make our muffler so if you wanted to do it on the super down down low cheap so that's all we're doing okay and you start filling it in kind of looks like it's got some goober welds on it that's it however way you want to paint it and detail it so that's it on that part guys so i'm going to stop it there we're getting there next portion is going to be mounting the muffler up i'm going to hit this with some uh flat so it's not shiny some flat uh you know flat spray clear to seal everything on that so just to show you guys that's what our end result is uh i went over again for a second coat after it started drying a little bit you know that's what it's going to look like under the truck we're going to add once this dries, I'll hit it with the flat spray paint and come back and you guys will see what it looks like with the flat spray. This flat spray clear, the mat, I always buy the cheap X2, whatever, Rust-Oleum. It's all you need for stuff like this. And uh, I'll just, it'll flatten this out and make it look like a dull stainless, you know, muffler. Um, and then we're going to add rust around to like your where we goobered up the glue and stuff like that onto it. So it'll look like a goobered weld, like on an old welded up muffler that you welded up uh, for the truck. So that's what we got so far. All right, guys, so we, I don't know what's going on with my camera. <clears throat> what I was saying here, we got the AK, AKA, AKA, the AK Rush Streak stuff. You can get it off of Amazon. And we're just going around and making it look like we got rusty welds around the exhaust uh, where the pipe goes in. Uh, now, you don't got to add this detail to it. I just figured I had the stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. And it'll just make it look a little bit better. Just like that right there. And make it look like we have some rust patina on our welds here so that's all i'm doing just a crappy paintbrush and this stuff here you can see it looks like we got rusty welds and i'm gonna go ahead and just coat paint this pipe with this axe stuff okay nothing fancy don't have to do this either because you've already added this is why I told you I like the coated brake line. And you guys that make this, if you use this with, if you use brake line for this, this brake line does not bend super easy. Okay, so it should not bend with you guys on the trail. Uh, and if you do bend it or you break it or you tear it off, it's just like a real exhaust system. Put it back on, simple as that. We're going to go ahead and keep coating this out. If I can get that in here. There we go. I need it a little more. And how this stuff's made to do, you apply it. I love this stuff, man. I'm going to go over and do a little video of how I did the rust on the TF3. Because you can create real rust with this stuff. Well, not real rust, but pretty scale looking accurate rust and it's easy and cheap and i've got a way i'll go over and do it and i am not a professional in any of this stuff guys so you know what i mean take it with a grain of salt uh you know i don't pretend to be super guru here i'm just giving you guys trying to give you guys ways of scaling out your stuff so we got this coated what i what, what i usually do here after you get that coated all up make them get bent up old rusty exhaust pipe i just take my rag and dab it off however you guys how much rusty looking exhaust you want to do just like that right there uh and you can see what oops i hit the camera i don't know if the camera's picking that up i may have took off too much of it i don't know uh but there it is going up on the truck. What it's going to look like. 
a pretty rusted up looking old exhaust pipe. Just like that right there, guys. And you got a you got a nice scaled out exhaust system. Uh, we'll get what it looks like on the truck once I get everything done. We're going to be making mounts uh, for this. But you can see how it's coming together. This works pretty well, uh, in my opinion, for what it is. So, and I already took and cleaned up the end for my exit on my exhaust on this. I didn't do that on camera. I just took my sanding wheel on my Dremel and I just ground it down. But you can see what we're getting so far. I need to take off some of that rust on that. And then some of this rust on this needs to be dabbed off because we got a little, little rusty. But that's what we got so far there on the camera. I think it's a pretty scale replica exhaust system you'd see on an old rusted beat up Toyota pickup. And I'm going to dirty up the muffler a little bit too. Just, you know, uh, I brush painted it so it would have the lines in it on purpose because these, uh, well, you know, with the paint marker brush. Uh, so, because, you know, those stainless mufflers have that kind of look to them anyways. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did here on our pipe here and then wipe it off. All right, so I just lowered the camera down. We're going to slide our patina exhaust up here into our spot just to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like. The next video will be working on the mounting of the exhaust. But so you guys have an idea of what it's going to look like under the truck. Uh, I don't know if it's coming out on the camera very well, but essentially right around in there is what it's going to look like. I think I might be a little farther over that way. Let me put the truck up on the side here. Okay, so right around the, this spot right here is where it's going to come out at. And that's how it's going to look underneath the truck. You got your turbo muffler and it fell back down. I just thought I'd do this at the end of the video to show you guys. I'm trying to get it. It's hard for me to keep my finger up on there. Okay, that's the spot right there. Okay, so right about in there is where it's going to come out at. And that's what it's going to look like. I don't know if you can make out the muffler. and I thought it matched. Um, what I was talking about in the other video, we'll go ahead and pull it back out here. It's all pretty much ready to be mounted up now. So, um, what I was talking about in the other video was doing a, doing a video on how I did the rust, if people are interested in that. Uh, I don't know how well it's picking it up there on the camera. I can show you guys a way of doing actual textured rust without That's actually reversible with some sanding if people are interested in that I can do a video on that I don't know so anyhow, that's it for part two of the exhaust system. We've got we're getting her there So there'll be one more part with the mounting guys. Thanks for watching as always peace